Hello, my name is Bill and welcome to Mind Your Crypto. Today we have Solana Daily Update. We are going to see what is the most important target to keep and what do we need in order to say that this bull run for the Solana is over. Okay, before we begin, join the monthly subscription to take easy profits. You will find the link in the description down below. Buy me a coffee slash Mind Your Crypto. You will get an automated system with buying and selling opportunities, a simple manual system with buying and selling opportunities. You will know exactly when to buy and exactly when to sell your altcoins also you will get personal guidance educational videos market updates and many many more benefits you can join the telegram group chat i have the link in the description down below as well hit the like button subscribe if you like the content okay so let's go right now to Solana. Can we go down from 180? Yes, we can. The next support level is the 173. Can we go down from the 173? Yes, we can. And we can go to the 161. Is that bearish if we go down to those targets? No. Okay. So if we even if we go down to those targets because Bitcoin might have a crash down or because Bitcoin might go lower or because Solana decides to just cover a little bit uh, recover actually a little bit during these days then it is it is okay okay it is very very good to go to the 161 173 we shouldn't be afraid or scared even if solana goes to these price levels okay and we will discuss with details what we need in order to say that now we are bearish okay so let's go now to the volume the volume here is decreasing a little bit actually it is high but we have some sellers going on for solana right there you can see and we do not need high volume in order to get a correction because we depend a lot on bitcoin okay we depend a lot on bitcoin and therefore we depend a lot on what it will do will it go down will it have another crash i believe bitcoin will go further down okay so let's go back to solana and we will discuss after about bitcoin uh you can see the MACD right now on Seoul we are keep having higher low patterns on the four hour frame okay higher low even though even if we go a little bit down we do not care okay as soon as the next high is higher than the previous one okay you can see that on the four hour frame we have a higher high in the MACD okay and so we need to keep this point right there it is not but it is possible actually to drop down if we drop down but the price remains stable then that means solana is very very nice to go even even higher and it is not over yet if macd falls down but the price remains stable or it corrects just a little bit then this shows that the altcoin has the strength needed to recover and move upwards let's go to the four hour frame on the risk metrics and on the day of 20 day and the fifth day emas okay exponential moving averages you can see that we have the 20 day MA for now as a support level. If we go down from the 20 day MA, is it bearish? No, of course not. You can see that we went down from the 50 day even EMA before and we still went upwards. Okay, so this is not something we should be bearish about. Okay, for Solana, that is all right. So, therefore, you do not have to worry about the four hour frame and the 50 day and the 20 day MA. Now, we are above the 20 day MA we might fall down even if we do that it is all good okay so you can see that according to the stochastic side we can go a little bit further down so yes we can lose some support levels right there same for the common channel index and the same for the rsi okay yes we can go further down there's nothing to tell us that we have a bottom around here not a higher low pattern not anything for now so we can correct a little bit more for so that is okay so let's go to the daily frame and on the daily frame you will see that we are in an extreme high risk okay so for the commodity channel index and for the rsi and for the stochastic rsi we had an extreme high risk and therefore correcting now on the daily frame just a little bit is absolutely healthy all right so we do not have to worry about that even if we correct just a tiny bit we do not have to worry it is very very likely that we correct a little bit if we have though a bitcoin crash then we might correct even more okay so for the macd what we need to do in order to be bearish is a bearish cross between the signal line and of course to keep going down and down okay that said that being said we will be bearish all right 
but for now we do not have and we do not hold anything like that let's see a little bit the sl hybrid in case we had a selling opportunity not yet a selling opportunity buying opportunity there not yet a selling opportunity sometimes we have some red arrows and they disappear okay sometimes there must be it but anyway for now we do not hold any high risk at all and we do not want to sell according to the SSL hybrid for the time being okay so uh the bulgar bands there we do not need to open them we just write the top line of the bulgar bands nothing important they do not help us at the time being and we will go now to the solana bitcoin chart and you can see that for solana bitcoin chart we are at the 0 0.2039 we might go to the 0 0.203662 around there yes we can correct even more but here for the solana bitcoin chart we are in an oversold situation unlike uh, the Solana USDT, you can see that we are not in an oversold. For Solana Bitcoin chart, we are in an oversold situation. Okay. And that is good because we can anytime for now outperform Bitcoin and therefore not drop as much as Bitcoin will do. Okay, because Bitcoin might have a crash, but we do not drop as much. And if Bitcoin goes up, we will be ready to outperform Bitcoin again and go even higher. So yes, the thing that we are seeing the stochastic RSI in a novel short situation, it is pretty, pretty good for the short term. And we have a price target for the uh, for the Solana Bitcoin chart. You can see that. It is around 0 0.2051 around there it is the uh, next target for sold bitcoin chart all right so therefore we are going now to the daily frame on the daily frame let's see if on this sell hybrid we have a selling opportunity not yet of course and on the daily frame you can see that we are just having an extreme overbought situation and on the stochastic RSI it was the same double top right here almost double top it was a little bit higher than the previous one and now we are going a little bit down according to the stochastic RSI on the daily frame okay so on the daily frame for now we hold two out of three risk metrics in an overbought situation but we are checking more the stochastic RSI in an impulsive wave all right so let's go now to the price analysis and you can see that on the price analysis we have solana usdt chart we are now holding the 180 for now for solana and we are holding the 20 day ema as well what do we need to be bearish we will discuss now what conditions we need so we say that solana's run is over for now and needs a correction and we might need to wait one or two or three months to consolidate and then get back in okay for that to happen we must go to the daily frame the four hour frame is not enough to tell us that we are down okay because on the four hour frame we even went down the four the 50 day ema and still recovered okay you can see we even went down the dma and still recovered so let's go to the daily frame and for that to be happen we need to go below the 50 day ma usually when we go below the 50 day ma then things are looking a little bad okay so you can see that back then we had the same we dropped down from the 50 day ma then we had to wait for at least two months around there before we go back again okay and i think that solana has one more wave to go up for example i am preparing a long-term video for solana mid long term actually but i do think that even if we consolidate let's say that we are correcting okay and we are going for one two months around here let's say for example around 100 tether here's the area then we are going up and we have one more wave to go okay so do not worry about that we are just saying that if we go down from the 50 day may then you should be considering solana going a little bit down okay further down than expected and of course correcting consolidating for like one two or three months maybe more maybe less we will see about that we will see the strength that the altcoin has it has very very a nice strength right there because it has so low transaction fees and you can build anything you like on Solana's network, okay? So it is a very cool project right there. But anyway, we are doing the technical analysis stuff right here. And you can see that we are not looking bearish at all for now, okay? So on the four hour frame for the short term, if we want to speak for the short term, first we look, we want to see if we hold the 20 day MA. Okay, if we do not, then we are going down 173 and maybe 161. It is very, very possible to drop down from the 50 day MA. We have done it already sometimes and we won't be bearish. So I do not want you to panic right now. If you've bought around the top, do not worry and do not panic. Okay, we do not have 
anything to be worried about for now okay and the next target you can see remain what we have said yesterday 232 242 251 and so on and so on so the targets remain the same and now we do not want to worry about anything okay so on the weekly frame i will go there again instead and i will tell you that be careful a little bit as of how much you invest in solana because we are in an extreme overbought situation okay and we are in an extreme overbought situation for both stochastic rsi the rsi and the commodity channel index and therefore you need to be careful okay so let's go back to the daily frame once we go beyond the 50 day may it is probably a long period of consolidation and of course on the four hour frame we do not want to see the rsi dropping below 30 this is another bearish scenario here if the rsi drops below 30 then probably the short term uh, bullish run is over okay we do not want to see solana dropping down to below 30 okay so therefore if we drop down there it will be pretty much over for the short term but not right now we do not hold any risk for that okay we do not see any bearish action and we hold the 20 day ma for the time being even if we go down from the 20 day ma you know the support levels do not forget to join the month subscription for easy profits i have a link in the description down below and of course see you soon with many many more videos bye